Restaurant Chris Mace R&D. Well, today we have a, a couple of BMW cam trays in here. Uh, this is out of a, a little four-cylinder, and this one's out of a six-cylinder. And what we're going to be doing is to uh, take the six-cylinder cam tray, cut it down, make the modifications necessary, so that we can replace the four-cylinder cam carrier because the lifters are about two millimeters, three millimeters smaller in diameter, which will mean a lighter valve train. And this engine will be able to rev a lot higher. Anyway, we're gonna show you how this is done through pictures and video. If we take a look at the exhaust side, this is where we have an oil feed line that comes up in the front of the cam box. And if we look at this, you can kind of see that the groove on this sticks out past where it is on the six cylinder. So we're going to have to build this up with a bit of weld, and then we're going to have to reprofile this same exact profile on this one here. On the intake side, it's not such a big deal because uh, we don't have anything that goes in between here, and this will be just fine. All we have to do is cut it to length. We're going to start this project by chopping off a couple of the cylinders of this uh, cam box on the chop saw. How you do that? Well, next thing we're going to do is trim off the ends that we just cut. flip it over and do the other side. Well, now that we've got the ends trimmed up, we can take the exhaust box over to the welding table and get it welded up. Set up a real simple jig here so that we can add a little bit of material on there. It's just a 90 degree angle. Clamp down to our welding table. We've got enough weld on there we'll go ahead and trim this off with the belt sander. Well as you can see here we've got this all nicely sanded and now we can go over to the milling machine and continue on. We need to remove a little bit of material on this one side. Well I've written this small program and as you can see this is a tool path here. And now we'll go ahead and run the program. Well, as you can see, we have our new slide over here for oil. Now we're going to take and put a little bit of epoxy in this one here to kill it off. I didn't want to have to weld on it and distort this uh, cam box a whole lot. So the last thing we'll do is put some epoxy in there. Well, as you can see, I've got the epoxy all set up. I've added a little piece of uh, clay right here so that um, it'll block that hole and keep the epoxy from flowing down into it.
Well, this is what it should look like when you're all finished up. Uh, you should uh, have this hole here plugged up and the new oil hole cut in there. And uh, that's it. Another performance modification down here at Coast Mesa R&D. If you have questions about this or would like to get this done, give me a call. We'll see you soon. Thanks.